So um, I was just reading through quickly because I just got it this morning. I was just reading through this um, those um, uh, human interest stories that, that you have shared. And for example, one of them is um, you know about uh, how uh, some young people were encouraging a village uh, to get vaccinated. And wonderful story, but what are we talking about? Are we talking about five children and or young people encouraging 20 people? What, what is the story behind it? So we want to really know what is happening with these, these different activities and your, your actions. So put your, not only brains, but hearts into it, and I know you will, and I know you are also going, I mean, you are going to deliver very hard work because uh, working in a district level and and working directly with our um, young people or beneficiaries, as we used to say about them, um, is, is very hard work. And pulling those activities together is very hard work. And therefore, we really appreciate your, you know, you are our foot soldiers almost uh, out there. Uh, so uh, a little bit about um, plan, the plans that Sarah was mentioning. Um, so we are starting in the area of really of um, uh, young, uh, young people's engagement, participation, as I said, through different activities. And, and uh, that's why my team is here also, so Shipra, who's leading uh, the WASH um, activities, and Neha leading uh, uh, child protection activities, and of course Radhika, who is uh, from our communication section. So um, those activities are really the entry point for, for the young people to get engaged. Uh, and I think uh, how you are going to use those entry points or those windows of opportunities is really up to you. I always say that any even bad project has a good leader. So even out of a tiny thing, you can turn things into something big. Um, so really, it's not really about money very often. It's about the leadership and, and the person in front. Um, and. Um, we, we, will be, we will be starting some, some WASH projects, we will be starting some different activities, of course, on child protection, etc. But right now, the focus is also very much on COVID and post-COVID times. We are not re really yet over COVID, as you know. Um, so therefore, this will remain the theme for another at least a year, a year and a half, maybe longer than that, because as you know, the livelihoods of people have been really impacted by COVID. And in Orissa, um, uh, the, the, not only the pandemic, but another layer of, of emergencies, which is uh, uh, recurrent every year, uh, will be another another um, important area to focus on. But that's hopefully not before next year. So um, as we go on, uh, you know, I, I hope to uh, engage with you and, and my team, of course, uh, as much as we can. And um, now that hopefully we can also start traveling soon, uh, we can um, visit different districts uh, with time. Hopefully we can visit most of them. Uh, so we look forward to working with you and thank you so much for, for your hard work. Thank you for joining hands. I'm very happy to see some young faces as well. And um, uh, yes, go out and be brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you.